In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use the HSL tool in Lightroom to transform your images. So what is the HSL tool? It stands for Hue, Saturation and Luma, or Luminance. It's a powerful tool that lets you selectively adjust the colors in your photos. So let's get started. Now, once you've opened up Lightroom, you wanna go over to the right-hand side and scroll down until you see this color mixer tab here. So here you'll see three sections. You've got the Hue, the Saturation and the Luminance. Now, each section has its own slider that lets you adjust the colors in the photo. So let's start with the Hues. This section lets you adjust the overall color tones in your photo. You can drag the sliders to the left or the right to change each color. For example, if you want to make changes to the blues in the skies, simply drag the blue slider to the right, and there you go. I personally like the more teal look, so I would go to the left a little, but we'll get into the edit in just a minute. Next, we have the saturation sliders. This section lets you adjust the intensity of each color in your photo. Again, drag the slider to the right to make the colors more vibrant, or to the left to desaturate them. Now just play around with these color sliders until you achieve the look you're going for. Finally, we've got the luminance sliders, and this section lets you adjust the brightness of each color. Basically, it's the exposure. Drag the slider to the right to brighten the colors, or to the left to darken them. Now this is a great tool for making contrast in your colors to make them really stand out. So let's actually jump into this edit. We've got a nice image here. It's a nice shot, and you could just leave it here. But with just a few adjustments, you can see how powerful the HSL tool can really be so let's get into it so as i mentioned before i'm going to start with the blues and i like to add a little teal to this so if you just go to the extreme and go straight to the left you can see just how much blue is in this image and again to the right it'll go some more purple um, but yeah just a touch to the left to add a bit of a teal sort of look i tend to drop the saturation just a little bit as well maybe just a brighten it up as well. And I go over to the teal itself and you can see there's not much in there. I always go to the extreme to see what I'm playing with, but I'm just gonna leave that. Now with the greens, you can see at the bottom of the image, it's adjusting the colors a little bit at the bottom. Now I'm gonna leave it for a minute because I'm gonna get into how I edit the sea separate from the sky because they're very similar. And if I adjust the sea, it's gonna adjust the sky. I want more of a deep dark blue in the sea, but yeah, we'll get into that in a minute. Um, over to the yellows. If I go from left to right, you can see it's changing the cliffs here. Now, I don't want to do too much to this. If anything, I just want to make them pop. So I'm actually just going to play with the, uh, the Luma here. If, if I drag it up, you see it just makes it pop just that little bit more, which is kind of nice. Um, now, the oranges, I think, is where it's going to change a lot. Yeah, so it's going to switch over to more of a magenta. Um, so I'm going to add a little magenta in there. Um, and again, I'm gonna push the luminance because I really want the, the cliffs to pop. Um, maybe drop the saturation a little bit. Now with the reds, I think it's obvious what this is gonna change, the actual lighthouse. Um, again, if I go to the extreme, you can see what it's doing there. Um, but I really want that to be more of a deep dark red. So I'm gonna push it to the left just a little bit, bump up the saturation, and I might just push the exposure on that just a little bit. Now if I just toggle on and off already, you can see the before and after. Now we've just played with the colors. Now already you can see it's given it a bit more of a stylistic look. We've only slightly adjusted the colors, but you can see just how much of a difference that has made. At this point, I'm happy with the colors, but I wanna make a few more adjustments just with the masking and um, and the exposure in general. So um, this is a bit more of an advanced tutorial, but, but yeah, let's, let's do it anyway. Right, so what I'm gonna do is go up here to the masking tab. And uh, yeah, this is where you can select the sky and just manipulate that. You can play around the subjects and the backgrounds. But what I'm actually gonna do is go down to this range tool and I'm gonna click color range. So I'm just gonna select this area here and as you can see, it's made a selection. So what I wanna do is I wanna go down and I wanna click colorize and this is going to allow me to just put an overall color across that mask so you want to grab this here and i want to move it over to the blues if you bring it up you can see exactly what you're changing kind of want more of a dark blue and then i'm just going to bring it down just a little bit and then i think with the saturation i'll bring the saturation down too and here i can bring down the actual exposure of it as well again i wanted to go for that moody sort of dark ocean look add a bit of contrast keep them whites in there just make them whites pop back up again but yeah you can see just the difference that's made already if i go before and after i mean that's that's just unbelievable um it's probably still a little too saturated for me just take the saturation down a, a little bit i just a bit more in this colorization here but yeah, that's just ridiculous already. Anyway, right, so let's add another mask and I'm just gonna bring up a linear just from this bottom right and pull down the exposure. And basically this is just to sort of um, 
bring your eyes more to the to the subject which is obviously the lighthouse and the cliffs um, but yeah nothing too crazy just a little adjustment there and then I'm going to do another one just in the sky just to bring the exposure down a little bit again just to bring your eye more to the subject in the middle um, but just look at that just with these few adjustments it's mad if I just toggle the before and the after, I mean, that's just madness. I mean, it was a great image before, but just manipulating the colors there, it's just transformed the image completely. So it just goes to show you how much you can do just playing around with the colors. I mean, experiment with your own images and just play around. I mean, I would be subtle with the color changes. And remember, if you're working with portraits, be careful with the oranges, because that's where your skin tones tend to lie. And uh, yeah, you don't want to push it too much with that. Um, but in general, yeah, just slight adjustments. As you can see, I didn't do much uh, with the colors there, but the difference it's made um, is just madness. So yeah, have a little play, guys, and see what you can come up with yourself. And that's it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please give it a like and perhaps subscribe if you want to see more of these tips, tricks, and tutorials. I'm going to be doing them each week. So yeah, until the next one, guys, I'll see you then.